welcome to another episode of <laughs> something far too late again. We're going to go over the <laughs> legacy units, and I'm joined today by Connor. Uh, it's Connor. Hey, up, yes, he's not here? Phil that did. He's not Phil that made that mistake this time. The joke is over. He's rubbed <laughs> off onto Connor. So, yeah, but no, he's. We're going over the legacy units after a bit of time to actually digest a lot of them. So this might not be new news to everyone out there, but we're going to go over, give our opinions. We're going to give it a run through. There's, an, there's quite a lot of units in this. so We're going to be cherry picking, aren't we, a little bit? Yeah, we'll, we'll cover each one and give our opinions, but we might not do fully in depth on every single one. I think is the key thing to say, like... The, the immediate one that stands out is the the super heavies because we can spoilers for the end they're too many points don't uh, yeah right yeah, they're silly silly points yeah but there are actually some gems in here like we're going to be doing the generic ones right now and then if I can convince Connor we'll see the la the last recording we did for consoles took like three hours and we were expecting um, an hour. But, and was literally done about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we'll see how long we can uh, stand to get them all done today. So, so it's not that me and Max have the same outfit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we should watching, have gone and changed, shouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, or we should have sent the same clothes to each other so that in every <laughs> in in every one, we've got, like, you've got the same clothes as me in this one, in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so let's start with one that we sort of mentioned in the console review, and that's the Nullificator Squad. It's, it's not to one initially, but if you take a Primus Nullificator, they move from Elites to Troops and lose the minus one. Sorry, the minus one, the not to one. 245 points, it's a Cataphracty Squad in profile. They have Combi Bolters, Aether Shock Mauls, which are AP3 Deflagrate with plus one strength. Um, they have Heavy because they're cataphracty, relentless, bulky too, stubborn. That's quite good on this unit at leadership nine on the sergeant. And hexagramic wards, which means um, an attack with a psychic weapon is at minus one strength against them. So go on, Connor. What what do you think? Um, I think they're quite a sexy unit, actually. Um, they're pricey. Yeah. They are pricey. Um, uh, I know uh, obviously they fit into elites, which is normally quite a hot spot for a lot of people's choices. However, I'll be honest, uh, with the Imperial Fists, I don't find that. I generally have got an elite spot spare, yeah. Um, I think they're a sexy unit once you've got the add ons a little bit. So, I mean, I quite like the, the Aftershock Malls AP3 plus one strength to flag great, they're going to go through. Troop, troop choice is quite nicely. Yeah. Um, the ability to be able to take a thunder hammer or thunder hammers in them. Uh, sorry, just on the sergeant. Actually. Yeah, just on one. Uh, just on the sergeant is it, is like nice as well. Um, you're not really going to be throwing them into uh, other terminators as such because they are going to get punched out. But that being said, they're a bit of a stick around unit if you've got a spare elite slot. Um, the main thing I'd say is having those um, disintegrators potentially on them yeah. is going to be quite nice. So that's Strength 5, AP2, Instant Death, which mm. is pretty insane. And I think yeah. it might be Assault 2. I'll just look it up now while you gush over in disintegrators. But yeah, I think I think it, they're, they're definitely an option for um, those people who, who do have the spare points i suppose and the elite slot definitely it's one that's drawn my eye of how can i try and fit a squad in because they are quite a killer unit um, a little bit slow with the cataract side of it but that being said you know you're you're going in at strength five ap3 and i know it's a lot of points to be taking out tax squads but um you know for those objective games if they're there Mm. Um, you know they're, they're, they're quite a nice Terminator unit to be able to do that really yeah so I, I think they also come into it with if you I think you're definitely going to give a Thunder Hammer to the Sergeant and that's not actually mm. 
just just because it's a thunder hammer or thunder mace or thunder spear or whatever you want to give it. It's just just it's, for the additional AP two in combat. Isn't yeah, it? well, I think what you do is you can target like veteran squads, anything like that. You anything without two up saves across the unit, and you challenge out the character in there so they can't tank the wounds. If they refuse, you retire them and they can't mm -hmm. tank wound. They can't tank saves. So job done. Yep. And the rest of your unit then uses their Aether Shock Maws to like bam, bam, bam and deflag through the rest of the unit. And I think they, they're doing that initiative so they're not losing dudes without striking. No, yeah. But I, I mean, they're obviously built more towards, the, towards your demon side of things to a certain extent. Mm. But I think they are, yeah, they're having the disintegrators on the squad. Yeah. And it's, um, it's rapid fire. 24 inch range so wow. like okay. you're putting out a lot of shots at that yeah uh, yeah and it's a long range as well it's a long yeah, range 24 inch that. range is you know uh, you, you're effectively got a moving squad of sniper rifles without the precision right but instant deafing stuff and it's always ap2 i mean funnily enough they are no they haven't got the ren so things but um, I was just thinking of Dreadnoughts. But they probably put some damage onto Dreadnoughts as yeah, well. Even yeah, Dreadnoughts wounding on... Sixes. Yeah, but then you're doing three, D, D, D3 wounds D, each D, time. D3 wounds each wound. So you only need a couple. Yeah. No, so... I, I think it's a good squad. I think it's more specialised. The, the, mm. the, the, the thing is then, is is it better than a Thunderhammer? No. But what is... <laughs> Like he's yeah he's if we're comparing but, no, everything to dreadnoughts and thunderhammers, then no like everything pales. But we, yeah, we but I, I, do we want to do that? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, I agree, and and I, I think you look at it as um you, you 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 know you have to try and look at some of these units individually a little bit rather than trying to compare them to everything. And the way I view them immediately is more of an at range. I'm going to get some instant deaths on things that maybe are a bit harder to kill. Mm. So other Terminators and things like that. Um, so your specialist Terminator squad, I'm not going to throw these in combat with them, but I am going to stick them 24 inches away and take shots at you. Or even you stick them in front of that Terminator unit and don't worry when that Terminator unit charges because then you double tap your disintegrators yeah. into them. Well, that, that's what I mean. You take a shot, um, let them come closer, you take another shot and then, <laughs> and then, and then double tap them on the charge. I'd like to think you've taken out a fair amount at that point, or or at least caused some issues. Yeah, um, and, like... and the instant death's a big thing. But I suppose it's it, it's not so much the unit; it's more the fact that they can take the disintegrator. That's that's the big thumbs up. <laughs> Is it really? So I, I I like the idea of the unit. It's a like I'm actually because we were just talking about the Primus nullificator. I'm yeah. now thinking of like an Iron Warrior that because they hate demons and stuff. Even though they like fall mm -hmm. to chaos in the scouring and stuff, or like fall yeah. to chaos, they it's they still don't like it. So I'm I'm picturing like this Iron Warrior wrapped in like chains and iron and like sort of half esoteric, but also yeah. like Iron Comer strength and all stuff like that. Iron without. And I think because they're not locked to loyalists is one of the things to say. So these no. could be guys controlling demons that are also on you. Like they're there. Like do you not? They're the mahout that puts the spike in the head of the elephant. If the yeah, demons yeah. go out of control, these are the guys around to like rein them back in. So they can be yeah, in lots yeah. of armies, in my mind. Yeah, exactly. I think they're 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 a fluffy kind of unit, aren't they? Really, they fit more of a narrative. More, I would say, than like like a, a whack or gaming point of view they're definitely more of a narrative type choice but yeah i think um they're they're a, they're a nice unit to to potentially have um even if you've just got a squad of them for a bit of fun the only real downside i think i have with them is the price they are quite pricey once you start adding the stuff on to get yeah. them to that point um it's, it's a lot of points you know you're talking about 300 point uh, 345 points immediately just yeah. for to, to, to be, yeah, to, with, once you've got the disintegrators on them, but well, the disin so the dis disintegrators here's one thing that I've just seen looking it up. They are gets hot, so they will instant death themselves. They'll have their they'll have their four up in one against it, but it's it's a bit of that backlash. But it's still a, 
I don't mind. It's, like, I'm thinking like sort of eight to nine on the fluff scale, and like yeah. four, like four to six at most six on the wax scale. Oh, I, I would I would say they're even lower than that on the wax scale. I think you're looking at a, a three to five, but yeah, on the fluffy <laughs> side. Yeah, but it it says um, something so much that we've like we 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 had that impression already because we looked at them when we were doing the briefly, the yeah. Primus nullificator, and we're still talking about them <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. for a, for, yeah. a, for a good amount of time. Yeah. And they're a fun unit, I think. I think they'd be a fun unit to run. Yeah. And I think so when demons come out that could complete and I know like we've had slight rules for demons, but when demons come out as a full army, that could check like this rundown could people could just start playing demons a lot and this just changes. Or against solar and militia where you've got um your D flag, that could just they just go off and start going through yeah. squads. Yeah. But yeah, shall we move on to the next? Yeah. So we've got the Castiferum Dreadnought Talon, and this won't take this won't take long. It's 125 points. You've got weapon skill BS5, movement six, strength toughness six, five wounds, initiative two, three attacks, leadership nine, two up save. You've got a five up in one because of its a ferromantic deflector and yeah. you you start with a fist but I think you give it two last cannons because this is a just a on the on the fluff wax scale it's quite cool cast of ferrums but it's it's heavy it's too slow to really do that combat but it's cheap and it's a gun platform yeah it's a it's a it's a feel your points type unit and it really it's a long range feel your t- points type unit with a bit more of a survivability, I suppose, in some senses, with it being a toughness six and so on. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it, it's it's a gun platform, isn't it? Yeah, and it's it's we're gonna skip over this unit because there's not much that needs to be said. It's a dreadnought in two point oh. Yeah, it's just a different role from the contemptor because it's slower. Um, it can take helical targeting as well. Is one of the big things, but I think we'll yeah. just we'll we'll just sidle on to yeah. Sparta attack bike squadrons. So 55 points for one attack bike, 50 points extra, so it's only 5 point squad tax. They can take a Legion Vexilla, which would be interesting to see, for 10 points. Um, they've got Heavy Bolter for free, can change to a Heavy Flamer for free, Auto Cannon 15 points, Multi Melter 25 points. It makes them a bit spenny for that Multi Melter option. If they've only got one wound... Right, so... Preface right, this I, opinion. I, I, I'll, I'll, answer, I'll answer all of this real quickly. Go on. This is just for people who bought them previously and now can't use them. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> that, that, that's it. That's yeah. part of legacies, isn't it? It's yeah. It, why they've not got ago, multiple wounds? An option. Yeah. Why they've not got multiple wounds? I don't know. Because there's two, two dudes on there. Two, two. There's two dudes, two dudes on there. A, 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 two a is a million. Fucking scimitar jet bike has two wounds with one yeah. guy on there. Why does this not have two wounds? One. A little bit of a standout is the legions that can take assault cannons, so that's Blood Angels, Imperial Fists. You can whack assault cannons on these bikes, but it's yeah. still not going to be good enough because you've got one wound. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not for not for the points. <laughs> 55 points for plus assault points. cannon upgrade. No ta. Yeah. Um, so Tarantula Sentry Gun Battery, 60 points for three. Coming stock with heavy bolters. Bulky four. They've not got the... Legion of Starties rules, sadly, so uh, like Night Lords won't have a Legion like squad of 12 there to get yeah. their benefit. Um, two la- Any sand- sentry gun can exchange the heavy bolter for two las cannons for 20 points each. You've got BS2 and Toughness 4, two wounds. They've got or a Hyperios mi- missile launcher for five points each, so that's 75 points for the anti air option. And I think that's the only valid way. What's uh, fire protocols? So fire protocols is is that on the next? Fire Do you know what? Too. I I don't know, but they just too. I've not looked into them that much because they're just too expensive. Like, do you know it's, uh, it's it, looking it, over it's, the entry? The only thing I'll say with it is if I've got a spare sixty points, oh, it could oh, be quite fun to play down. Fire protocols is you can fire two weapons with them. Sorry. 
Right. Okay. Like it's, it's, I was thinking maybe that's like the automated bit of them. Yeah. But it's yeah, not five yeah. protocols, it's firing not. two. The automated bit's the bottom bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 again, it's it's a little bit, if you bought them previously, here, have them. Um, good for narratives, I think. Yeah. Good, good for narratives and scenarios. Obviously, defensive type teams having them. Mm. Um, but generally... You're not good. If that them. happens, you kind of got them for free because people just sort of go, here's your 60 points, you have them. You're not... They're, they're a one on the whack scale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which I, I like them. I'd like to have them. Like, it's sort of like, if you're playing stratagem points, like, and can take these for stratagem points, I, I'd probably take them if they were that, zero that, stratagem yeah, points. That, 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 that's what I mean. That's what <laughs> like I mean. If, you, if, you, you'd do that, but it, yeah. you're not going to spend what, you know, almost what? For a last cannon one, 120, 120 points. 20 points, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I, the, so the, the only one that I would potentially choose is the Hyperios missile launcher, 75 points for nine shots, strength seven, AP three. But then again, AP three. I'm looking at that, and it's like AP three is nothing because it's a flyer with an with an armor value, so it doesn't actually matter. Then, no, yeah, you're looking strength at, seven yeah. is you need fives to hit, and then I'm really gonna need like fours to glance uh, Xiphon, and then more if it's a Storm Eagle or Thunderhawk, like fives. Yeah, to be honest, actually saying that, that's not an awful air defense way is it if you know someone's taking flights you stick three of these down for 75 points and you've got your anti-air yeah it's i think the trouble it's is just number of shots isn't it yeah you, you're, nine nine shots potentially each they're going to be uh they've got sky fights so what they'll be hitting on what fives they won't be hitting on sixes or they'll be hitting on yeah fives? i can't remember so you've got a slightly, slightly better in that sense rather than your sixes. I, and and strength seven is not awful against flyers. No, I it's suppose just the way to fire. The letdown is they can't react because they've got art, the artillery bit, like automated artillery. They. So like you're just gonna if you've got a heavy weapon squad, you're gonna intercept with that and with ten heavy weapons dudes. You shoot down that. Flyers aren't a problem anyway. Even just no, I, I know. I'm talking about people who are going to take multiple. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. So it, it's just a a way of. Do you know what? Just in case you've got something that's going to annoy me, I'm going to put that in. Yeah, yeah. And it, I think it's, but, it's as you said. It's 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 for the fluff players out there. Yeah, not the rough players. Um. So on to Legion Terminator Indomitus Squad. 170 points. These are a troop slot, which is a um, really interesting bit about them. Movement 6, weapon skill 4, BS4. They're marines, 2 wounds, 2 attacks. Leadership 7, 2 up safe. They've got a combi bolter and power fist as standard. Heavy. They're relentless, inexorable, so they're not taking negatives to things outside of shooting. So they're not taking negatives to their leadership except in combat. That's the way to say that. Um mm-hmm what to say about these they are i think they are very good 30 points a model for an additional terminator like they can get augury scanners the the proteus assault cannon is an interesting choice of three shots no malfunction assault cannon that's strength six um but really five points for a thunder hammer and 10 points for a proteus pattern storm shield that gives you a four up in vun and you can still sweep yeah, I think this is. No, I, I I agree with you. So this is where I come spoil, isn't it? As as a, as an Imperial Fist player with my Terminators a little bit, mm. um, because for me I find the points to take a Tartarus Terminator squad with Storm Shields for a free up in Vun, and then if I want an assault cannon on it, I would put my assault cannon on it, which is four shots, I think, <laughs> yeah. uh, off the top of my head with the same sort of profile. Yeah, um, uh, and do it that way. So, um, but that being said, obviously for the legions that don't have that option, uh, I do think it's a it's a quite a nice choice, a different choice, um, especially from the saving points as well. I know you can take Proteus Pattern Storm Shields on these as well for ten points each, gives you a four up in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... Um, 
it so, makes yeah, it very it, scary, I think. Especially as a troop's choice. The... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think that it's good because they sit down as a troop's choice. So you kind of got your Terminator squad as a troop's choice, which is nice. Um, and they're not too pricey, so they can be a little bit far away. Yeah. Um, which yeah. is good. Um, just just be a squad of, of Terminators with, I don't know, Thunder Hammers or Chain Fist, whatever you want. Um, but Thunder Hammers. Just, really. just, obviously Thunder Hammers, but I was trying to not say that. <laughs> um, and just throwing them into things. You know, here have that. Have some, have a have some guys who have got a half decent save and a two up in general. Yeah. Um, and then, like you said, if you want to give them the the storm shields as well, the fact that they can then sweep and stuff is is good. Um, must crafting on the on the sergeant is good as well of the power weapon if needed. Yeah. If you uh, yeah if if you want to switch out for something like a if you get the new. Indomitus box because the, those new Terminators that they've they've teased for forty k look really nice. Mm. If you want to put those to use, or say like Chaos Terminators from the the Chaos Space Marine range, they work. Re- they're obviously the, this is the suit of armor to go for. Yeah, and the, so I think the problem with the assault cannon comes in heavy flame is useless because it's a heavy flamer, right? But like the assault cannon. You want to be charging with these guys, and they are they. You're going to make your charge longer for everyone that you actually successfully kill. The 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 thing that I always found with the assault cannon on Terminators like this is it's not so much for hitting the unit to make yourself your charge longer. It's either to plink off wounds off multiple things, or in those turns that you aren't close enough for whatever reason to charge something, then at least you've got some damage output still. So with that, it's, do you think it's, it's not worth, often? Because but... for every for a two, for two assault cannons, you can get an extra dude. Like, do you think it's worth then pot that like that points level? Because uh, I mean, you're the one with more experience in the the assault it, cannon department. It, so, so I would. It, it, right, it depends on lots of things for starters. It depends on what your overall point spares of the list. If let, let's say how many how many guys it's one in every five, isn't it, of the yeah. unit anyway that can take it. So when you say it's an extra dude, you wouldn't be able to take one an extra Terminator because it would be. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, I suppose you know the, I mean? the so, choice comes of when you're at nine dudes. And Are you if, putting an assault cannon on that other guy for fifteen points, or, or dropping an assault, or dropping an assault cannon, and adding an extra dude? Um, like if you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I think if if you're if let's say you're fifty, you're nine guys and fifteen points off to get one more dude. You you throw in the extra dude, I suppose, and then just use them as a kamikaze unit. Mm. But if you've got the because the thunder hammers on them are really cheap as well, they're five points, yeah, rather than fifteen, which is obviously mad. Um, other than that, though, I would say if you're running a squad of ten, yeah, probably is worth having the two assault cannons, just because it'll be for things that it'll be it, it won't be so much for when you're going into combat. It'll be more for things like let's say someone's got a speeder and they shoot at you. Okay, well, I can shoot you back. Mm. Uh, I've got something to fire back at you. Um, Or a a squad shooting you. Okay, well, I've got something to shoot back at you. That might make you go, oh, actually, I'm not just going to put these 10 bolters into these guys because I might lose three or four of them just from the return fire. So it it makes... it, it It just gives them more of a fear factor from people shooting at them. Um, I'm not saying it's the optimal way of doing it. Obviously, the optimal way of doing it is probably giving them all thunder, fa- thunder hammers and just charging them at stuff. Mm. But I just like a little bit of versatility in some of the units, just because if the situation arises that I can't charge you, at least they're not just they're not standing around. Yeah. For a turn. Yeah. Fair. Um, and yeah, it's just an an excellent unit all round. I yeah. think to having the yeah. legacies. I think they're decent. Uh, everyone sort of screamed out for them, and I think they're 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 quite quite nice. Um, I can't see many fist players using them unless it's 
purely from a fluffy perspective, uh, just because there's better options. But um, definitely all the other le- uh, yeah. uh, 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 all the other legions, all the paupers uh, <laughs> in the world. <laughs> yeah. So on to the Avenger Strike Fighter. So he's 170 points. It's got an Avenger bolt cannon, two hull mounted las cannons, and a rear heavy stubber that has Skyfire. Oh, yeah. no, it's not got Skyfire. It used to have Skyfire because it's like the 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 rear facing. Oh right, no, thing. yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. So it's right. So I really okay, like I'll... this plane. Yeah. Okay. It's it's cheap. Avenger bolt cannons are good. Ma- hull mount like hull mounted las cannons are good, but it's a flyer. It's got three hull points, so it's more than a Zyphon, but it's still a flyer. Yeah. And flyers get shot down too easy. Can we just pull up Games Workshop quickly? Can they just take Deep Strike off of all their poxy flyers? I, I do not understand why they put Deep Strike on all of these units. <laughs> uh, and by the way, if there's someone in the comments who has an actual valid answer, I'm all ears for it because I'd love to know. But I do not know anyone who's ever Deep Striked other than for utter hilarity any of their flyers into a game. So, and this has only occurred to me when you've literally just said this, I've never thought of deep striking my flyers. But what it could do is allow, it allows you to take those flyers in lists that require deep strike. I think maybe right. Orbital Assault. In which um, case, get rid of the deep strike rule and just change the wrong word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I say that flyers can be allowed in these whatever, or what whatever it is. But it, it's just... Yeah, it irritates me so much. Yeah, I can't massively my gears. think of a reason why. Like maybe because it, it lets you deep strike behind a tank's rear armor. Maybe, but it's do you know like it's yes yeah I get, suppose that get, that's the one is like your las cannons are behind the enemy tank straight away. Yeah, I suppose. But, but still, I've never and seen. And then it just gets it. reacted by whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it gets reacted and shot down. But it's quite a nice flyer if they change the flyer rules. If not, join me and Pete on the <laughs> the bad side of this, getting yeah. shot down every game with our flyers. Legion Thunderbolt, 170 points. I like Thunderbolts in my Solar list because they're really cheap. They're a bit more expensive here. Um, and I just, I, again same things as a normal flyer i don't think it's worth it it's got the deep strike in there to annoy connor um <laughs> yeah four center line mounted auto cannons are good two center line mounted last cannons are good but it's a flyer let's get on with our lives yeah. uh primary sl- strike fighter it's <sighs> they've still got kraken penetrators but they're more expensive to do that yeah like do you know it's yeah. They used to be sub two hundred points, I believe, for yeah. or maybe just over for six Kraken penetrators on a lightning. Yeah. Now yeah. it's yeah. two hundred and eighty five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, and it it's a flyer. You come in, and this with its Kraken penetrators is definitely getting intercepted and shot down. Ah, oh, it's the first thing that's dying. <laughs> yeah. It's the first thing. Even do you know what? Yeah, it's the first thing that's being shot at in every shape or form. Um, I used to really like them in the previous version. Like you said, they were cool. They are quite cool still. Um, but yeah, they, they're just they're they're just getting they're, they're the first thing that's going to be shot. Um, you're only yeah. ever going to use them as anti tank anyway. And in which case, if I'm going to spend two hundred and something odd points, I'm taking the last cannon squad. Yeah, and it's. I mean, the Kraken Penetrators are still excellent. They're strength 8, AP 1, Armour Bane. Yeah, of course but, they yeah. But, like, it just suffers far too much, this edition. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, I know I've just said, oh, I'm taking the Lazcan squad, and people go, oh, well, I already used my heavy slots for this, this, and this. Well, then you need to change your list and just take another heavy, <laughs> another <laughs> Lazcan squad and get rid of your lightning. From a whack perspective. Yes, yeah, from a whack. Like, as we go through all of these, we're giving mainly a rundown on the whack like as in like yeah on on how good the unit is in game because of course well, ultimately come 
It's, I was going to say, other, otherwise, it's um, it's just up to your force and what you see as being in your force. And that yeah. isn't sh- that shouldn't be anything to do with how good it is. No, of course not. And ultimately, look, the one thing I'm glad of is, is that all these units are getting rules because, like you said, people have spent money to buy them and then they've become redundant. I mean, just to give you an example, the first thing that I got really wound up with with 2.0 was when they changed Stone Gauntlet because they're me uh, from an Imperial Fist side of things because I had got myself 30 odd breaches, which I almost wanted to start ripping the shields off afterwards because they'd now made Stone Gauntlet compulsory of, of, of warders rather than breaches. So it's like they kind of don't have a place unless they're a leftover thing. So it was so irritating. Well, obviously, <laughs> obviously, did you not know all the Imperial Fists, they go from Terra and they walk from one end of the Phalanx to the other, therefore qualifying as warders before they go off into the rest of the galaxy. Every yeah. single Imperial Fist is a warder from now on. Yeah, exactly. Um, and if yeah. you didn't know that, then you, you know, you read a book. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. But yeah, but, but so I get it. I get it. You, you spend money on these units, and then you know the, the rules change. The, the units not there anymore. It can be irritating. So yeah, we fully appreciate that. And it's still cool. They're still cool. I'd love yeah. to see more of them on the board. But just from a, a gaming perspective, it's more going to be oh, I just threw this in for a giggle rather than uh, actually doing anything. Uh, actually, it's going to have a have a yeah a, 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 an objective itself. So, Legion Land Raider Phobos, 220 points, it's a Land Raider in stats, so it's 14, 14, 14, 5 hull points, 12 capacity, it's got an assault ramp, it's got two sponsor mounted Gravis Las Cannons, two tw- a twin linked heavy bolter on front. Um, Connor, can you, see, uh, yeah, can you see any difference to this? The, the, no, it's exactly the, the, the same, normal. other than... Yeah, it's exactly the same. The only thing is, uh, you mean what than the the normal land raider? Yeah, in the Legion list, is uh, it, this no. just seems to be a box ticking exercise for like people that wanted like the title to be right for what they had bought, or or um, people going you can't use that because it's actually a Phobos and not this. Yeah, yeah, which is just like that. That mm. that is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, which which if you're those people as well, then where are your frag grenades? Um, yeah. So the Land Raider Achilles. Now this is a more interesting one. Three hundred and twenty points. It's a Land Raider with transport capacity six. It's got two sponson mounted Gravis Melter cannons, <laughs> um, and it's got a quad mortar on the hull. It's got ferromantic invulnerability and a galvanic traction drive. So, what does all of that do? So the ferromatic invulnerability, the effects of any variant of the armor bane special rule or lance special rule are ignored when resolving attacks made against this model with this special rule. <laughs> yeah. Um, the attraction driver model with this special rule must uh, re-roll fouled dangerous terrain tests. So it's effectively a free dozer blade, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the armor bane rule is quite cool. Quite like that. Yeah. You can't yeah. armor bane me. Um. It's quite nice, I suppose. And that covers Melter, doesn't it? Because Melter is now armor bearing yeah, brackets yeah. Melter. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's any variant of the armor bearing rule as well, or Lance special rule. So um, they've tried to cover their traps quite heavily, I think, with that wording. But yeah, so quite cool. I, I mean, don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, got, it's, it's a bit expensive for what yeah. you would... Ex- what this is fulfilling in role is now covered largely by the Kratos. Because it's not got a big enough. I suppose you could put like a small command squad in there to yeah. to like get its use out of it. A a melter cannon is Gravis melter cannon is strength eight, AP one, heavy two, armor bait. So it's a heavy two melter gun, uh, multi melter. Um, I I like its output sort of. Like that's all right. Is it worth three hundred and twenty points? I don't know, but I, I don't think I don't think it's worth the points. But actually, um, I can see it being quite a nuisance. Yeah, it's going to be quite hard to kill, and you're going to have to dedicate a lad's cannon squad to it. Yeah. Really, 
or or something hard hitting. Even melter bombs are going to be a pain because I'm pretty sure the melter bombs have got armor brain, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> so that they, they, they don't work properly. Um. So uh, there. Yeah, it's going to be uh, irritating to get rid of for sure. Um. And it, I, like you said, I think it's got enough output to to cause a bit of problems. Obviously, the um. Uh, the quad launcher has uh, a strength eight AP4, 24 inch range, heavy four Sunder shell, yeah. um, which is quite nice if you want to just uh, think it, it's going to be killing light armor, isn't it? Or yeah. you know, taking well, whole points off light armor. And then even the shard, uh, the shard version of it as well, heavy one large blast shred, strength five. You know, you're putting wounds onto stuff, and that, that you know, it's that it's alongside the the melters is good, isn't it? Yeah, like it's it's also it's a really nice model. So it's yes, it's it's one of those. I, do you know what? I don't know why I like it so much. It, but a lot of people seem to be in agreement that it's it's a really nice model with the derpy quad launcher stuck into the front of it. Well, yeah, whether it's yeah, not it's worth the points is like a lot in here. There's a few standout uh, ones, and uh, uh, yeah, again, you know. Um, Probably not worth its points from a gaming perspective. I don't think it's horrendously priced as standard. No, it's not horrific because ultimately it's it's a, a land raider that's got flare. Well, not even flare shield. It's more than that, isn't it? Um, it's got old school um, what, what armored ceramite, armored ceramite yeah. around the whole thing, um, which is cool. Um, yeah, I, I quite yeah. like it like that. To be honest, not not too bad quality. So Basilisk Squadron. And I think we'll roll this in with Medusa's squadron because it's yeah. practically the same. So, so basically, no one takes artillery like this anymore. Ever. Yeah, these have completely fallen out of the game. So yeah. they are 200 points for a Basilisk, 200 points for a Medusa. They've got the same 13, 12, 10, four hull points. And the Basilisk has got an Earthshaker cannon, which is strength 9, AP4, Ordnance 1, 5 inch blast, barrage, shred pinning the medusa is ordnance one barrage five inch blast pinning and instead of shred it gains rending six up but has only got 36 inch range do you know what just to immediately make these playable again the rending is just way too high like for example the medusa should just be a rending three up well it's to say that a scorpius has rending four yeah like he's and he's like near half the points. Yeah. It's crazy. Like I see how people didn't, I didn't mind artillery being so good in first ed because artillery is good. I, and like maybe like, they, get, it got I, the double nerf. It got the double nerf. They both yes. increased the points and decreased its, its effectiveness. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I get, I mean, I used to run two Medusas in my, in my old fist list in 1.0. They were like the first two things I put in my list because they were great. Um, so I get why they got they got hit with the old nerf stick, but they they just they, it it was it was no. Do you know what it was like? Oh, you're eating too much. No, don't cut down on your food. We're just not going to feed you. <laughs> <laughs> that was, is that targeted that was, connor jesus it, it, that, yeah, yeah. That, that was literally that was literally what it what they did with these didn't they they just they yeah. they, they, they i haven't seen one on the table since at all don't know anyone i think i've seen maybe a couple of vindicators and that was just from us playing i think from yeah like, uh, i think like, i ran a couple because, of vindicators, but yeah, yeah. but uh, which don't mind um but they yeah they, they destroyed it with the, the way they do it. I get why it is an AP2. I have no problem with that at all. Um, I don't have a problem with it being an AP3 or an AP4. However, um, that rendingness needs to drop massively. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. And the, the, as you said, like the the Basilisk along the same lines, it needs to gain one. Yeah, it needs to gain one for starters, yeah. So Whirlwind, yeah. 120 points. So the same points as a Scorpius. I think is the is the key thing here. It's got 11, 11, 10 because it's a Rhino. Um, and it's got a Whirlwind Launcher, which is 48 inch range, strength 6, AP4, light, light barrage, large blast, on and so on. 
It can have AP missiles, which are strength 7 AP 4, barrage, blast 3 inches, breaching 4 up. Um, or it can have AA missiles. Oh no, he's got all of them. Cool. It's Ordnance 1, Twin Linked, Skyfire. Um, not enough shots on the Skyfire. The AP missiles aren't as good as a Scorpius's just everyday stuff. Yeah. Um, it's two, and it's also a three inch blast rather than a large blast. The HE missiles, strength six. Well, it's it also just not as good as a Scorpius at the same role. No, no, you uh, just just delete this page and just put Scorpius instead. <laughs> that is basically what it is. Yeah, it? he's. I wouldn't even mind anyone running normal whirlwinds as Scorpiuses. No, because I just like who cares? You've paid the points. And the whirlwind actually is, or I don't know. To me, it's quite a nostalgic model. Yeah, like yeah, from, yeah. The same, from like the same third, massively. fourth ed. Like, yeah, totally agree. I totally agree. It is a nostalgic model. Yeah. And just, uh, just, just run that as a Scorpius, mate. I ain't got problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sh- it's it's going to be shot at pretty quickly anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. So, on to the Cestus assault ram, and this was a big fall from grace. It wasn't even. Oh. That, it wasn't even that great. Like. He's, or maybe not as big a fall from grace as the Basilisk Medusa, but three, 350 points, 13, 13, 11, four hull points, 12 transport capacity. It's a flyer with a siege melter array and two centerline mounted havoc launchers and a flare shield. Uh, I, I just think that Phil is out somewhere <laughs> and he's just got a sharp pain as if some sort of voodoo doll <laughs> has just been kicked across the room as we mentioned this, this model. <laughs> <laughs> so the Siege Melter Array is 12 inch range, strength 8, AP1. It's heavy 5, armor bane melter, twin linked. <laughs> what to say about this? Now, why it used to have a rule meaning that Terminators only counted as one model. Yeah. That's a nerf that they don't anymore, they take up two. Mm-hmm. The Melter Array is far too short range for a flyer. And the yep. biggest thing is that it can't ram things anymore. Like, it used to have the special rule that meant it could ram things even though it was a flyer and that was stupid. But that was the... The whole point was that this model was stupid and the rules were stupid and that was the best bit about 30k and 40k. It's, <laughs> it's like they've picked up the, the... like It's like they've got a massive... Um, like, do you remember when you like primary school and they used to have like all the words and you'd have to like cut out the words, right? Like, and I don't know, put them in books or whatever. Yeah. It's like that they have that, but for rules, yeah, in in Games Workshop. So they have the same thing. It's a big old sheet. It's got all the rules on and you cut out the rules and you put it there. And it's like all the rules that dropped on the floor <laughs> that they've then swept up. They went, ah, oh, shit, we need to do the assault ram. Well, what's in this pile? Ah, uh, it can have this, and it can have this. <laughs> We've got the siege melter left over from writing the Mastodon. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they dropped that and then did that. and uh, Yeah, it's just... Go go back and rewrite it. Do, do it again! <laughs> do, it yeah. again. Yeah, do it again! That, that is what that is. The points alone are, are ridiculous as well. Aren't yeah, it? it's such ridiculous. a shame. It's such a shame. But... I'd take a Primark almost for that. Point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it will get your squad there better because he'll just tank all the wounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It does everything that that does, but better. Yeah. So on to the Legion Malkador, 245 points. Oh, this is such a shame. Um, yeah, what to say about the Malkador? It's not brilliant anymore. It's, and it, it comes because of the fall from grace of the Demolisher Cannon. Basically, you, it's got 13, 13, 12, four, five hull points, independent fire, so everything can fire its own thing. A side-mounted heavy bolter to each side, hull-mounted battle cannon, hull-mounted heavy bolter. You can upgrade with extra Malkadors in the squadron, but you're not because you're already spending 250 points and it's useless. Mm. Um, it's got you can upgrade to a hull mounted las cannon and las cannons are good hull mounted vanquisher battle cannon for the same points and they're better because they gain yeah, they brutal can. two two yeah um, so how they got to those points I don't know because 
it's the same profile except the Vanquisher cannon has more range and brutal too. Now the hull mounted used to have, well, it still does have a demolisher cannon. It's just I think everyone that currently had them ripped them off and put las cannons back on because demolisher cannons are now rending six, which is the same problem that basilisks and Medu sorry medusas have, and it just doesn't work anymore. Like it's it's a, it's reinforced yeah. vehicle. It needs to go back to super heavy, I think, or somewhere yeah, in between. I, I, yeah, exactly. And the thing is, is we're not we're not saying that they need to go back to just being direct AP two with these weapons at all. By the way, like I, I don't think that's the answer. No, but I just think that the rending's just too high. When you when you think that I can fire a plasma gun and get an AP two shot on a four, yeah. But I can fire a massive shell that's probably <laughs> the size of some people's cars at people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it might just bounce off of <laughs> bounce off of power armor. It, it's just not right. Yeah. There's a balance there to be found in the middle. And I think if they do sort that out, they'll see more of these units. Uh, definitely not, you know, not from a whack point of view, but even just seeming more playable yeah well um, i actually really like the model it's a really nice model um yeah. i want to be using them but i've not and this, this is one of the problems there's other units that i also like so i've just cho yeah. chosen the the ones that are more usable in a game sense i don't yeah. want to like i i play enough games where i take things because i like them rather than yeah. because they're good and yeah. it, I, I, I i every decision i make can't be because i like the model yeah, because I, I'm I mean, sick of like my solar. I lost like twenty games in a row with my solar. Yeah. yeah. It, I, 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 go on. No, no, I wasn't. Say, I wasn't really saying anything. Yeah, no, no, I, I totally agree with you, and I think that the rule of uh, rule of call does only stretch so far. Like, like I, I there, there, it depend. So the the points on it can just diminishes the rule of court it gets to a point where it goes yeah, the, yeah it's just it's hindering my game to be able to enjoy yeah well it's, you know, so it's, yeah my army looks great but i'm taking it off after two minutes yeah. so like is that really fun no. so this um, is actually a discussion in itself i think like it's it's there's an amount of how much that comes into how much you play like i'm playing like at least one heresy game a week now so yeah. when you when I then do that over and over again, it gets demoralizing to just be like that that is what's causing <laughs> like this loss yeah. all the time. Um and it's it's one of the reasons, even in a narrative So I, I always get into this discussion, right? Narrative games, there's a lot of people that say that they don't have to be balanced. Now I actually think they need to be balanced more because if they're balanced more that means I can take whatever I want and I can make it work versus being punished for taking a, a fluffy list. And yeah. 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 There's a difference for me between a narrative game and a scenario game mm. within a narrative. So, so there's a big difference between there's uh, uh like you know you're go you're playing a narrative game in terms of th this is the story and that like you know these are why these two armies are playing and you're not necessarily taking any min max in or whatever and mm -hmm. that that's one way the the where the the points balance and maybe it shifts is a scenario within a larger narrative i.e you know if you're playing a campaign or something along those lines or an event um you know this is the situation and this squad has found or this this part of the army has found itself behind enemy lines and cut off and because of that you know they've got less points or so that's the scenario within a narrative but the balancing of that becomes in how you win that game so you might mm. have less points on the table but your objective might be to get off the table yeah and you, so, so your narrative, your your objective isn't to kill everything or or to secure objective. Your objective might be to try and survive. Mm. So you have got less points, but you're just trying to get away. So that that's where the evening up of that that happens, if that makes sense. But you're, I do think you're right. It, it, it needs, you know, because ultimately, 
you could argue that that three thousand points versus three thousand points is a fair game. Yeah, you've got the same points to spend. We all know that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. you know. Yeah. So yeah. No. Okay. Anyway, that's that's the rundown of the Malkador. Like all yeah. that all that discussion. Malkador. <laughs> yeah. So Malkador. on to the Minotaur battery. Um, it's a lovely model, like the the derpiness of it being firing backwards and stuff. I really like. It suffers from the exact same problem as the Basilisk. It's got no rending. Yes, it's, it's got shred pinning. It's the, yeah, it is. It's just, it's literally the same weapon. And it's just twin linked. It's so it's I, got slight, slightly better armor. Yeah, yeah, it's. it's well, it's it's got better armor on no. the rear. Oh yeah, it has yeah. Because actually, the guns are pointing backwards, yeah. so you face it. You you actually face it backwards to fire it. It used to have a larger blast, which would be one of who, the many fixes who, this needs to solve it. Who put eighty more points on that model? I don't know. It's eighty more points to the back. I don't know because I don't, I don't know how they've arrived at these as. <laughs> this is I, I, like we can't complain about every single thing, but I'm going to here. I don't know how. I don't know how they've arrived at the points of these. Like even the basilisk Medusa and all of that sort of stuff. How they've arrived at 280 points with the same weapon, the same hull points. It's just got one more pip of armor at the rear, but actually. The front of the other tank is what's facing the enemy. So it's got the same armour. Yeah. And it's it's just twin linked. It's next. Next. Yeah. yeah, yeah um next. this I think this is where we'll start speeding up. The Stormblade, seven hundred and fifty points. Um Right, I okay. Yeah. I, I'm I'm just Oh no, okay, they've done it in different order. Okay, no, continue. Sorry, ignore me. So Sorry. it's thirteen, thirteen, twelve with twelve hull points. The Plasma Blast Gun is Ordnance 1, Massive Blast 7, Breaching 4, it's Strength 9, AP 3. That, that in itself is good, but it's not 750. It's not two Primarchs good. Uh, 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 yeah, the, the, the points killed it. The points killed it. T- can keep everything same and drop those points. Oh, what, 250 points minimum? Yeah. yeah and then with, all of a sudden how, it becomes an interesting choice. Yeah, everything else is. It's... Like I've used it a number of times for my Solar, but as I just mentioned before, I lo- like in those games with my Solar, I lost twenty games in a row. Yeah, and it's not, and that's, and I'm not that bad a player. Like I'm not twenty you, games in a row player, bad player. Do you know what? You 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 drop it, two hundred and fifty points. You give it brutal one, on the weapon. <sighs> as in like brutal and, two, yeah, yeah, like, brutal yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. brutal, just brutal, right? Mm. So you give it brutal. Drop it by two hundred and fifty points, and all of a sudden, that makes everyone go, "Oh, I might take that," because mm. that's that's it's ordnance one like large blast, like the massive blast, even seven inches. Yeah, um, I mean, because usually that is massive for some, but um, yeah, and then all <laughs> of a sudden, and the breaching as well, and all of a sudden, that's like a bit more of a yeah, just well to say that with. you're not getting usually ten. 10 hits with this blast because it scatters even though it's big like yes you can get a lot more than that but people see that you've got it and space out so to say that Fulham and Tara are like 500 points and get their AP2 brutal uh, brutal 2 strength 8 missiles it's hey, this is much worse like and let's just so Thunderhawk Transporter 500 points <laughs> I'm going to want to talk about this for a long time, but you're not. Um, it's 18-inch move, BS4, 12-12-12, 9 hull points, 22 capacity, plus um, it can... <laughs> so it's got four turret-mounted twin-linked heavy bolters, six hull-mounted Hellstrike missiles, flyer, hover, lumbering transport, Legion of Starties, assault vehicle, transport bay, Two auxiliary transport bays. Um, go on. They just need to sort out the Thunderhawks, don't they? They, they, they've, they've, they're such a cool model. 
Mm. They're such an awesome model and they've just never done them justice. They need to just sort them out in general so we can see more of them. Yes. Yeah. It's it's, as simple as that. Well, I think the the trouble is they're wedded too much to having 12 being like the cap of armour value. That, this is what I mean. It's, they're they, too they, expensive and it's that. Yeah. What what they need to do with the Thunderhawks is they need to tear up the other rules around it in terms of you go, this is a Thunderhawk. It doesn't apply to the flyers. Yeah. Right? It's this. This is different. Yeah. And well, it, this is what it has. It <laughs> needs to be 14 all round. Because it gets oh, shot down as soon as it lands. Even if... Yeah, but I do I do think 14 is too much because it is a flyer. Oh, it's a Thunderhawk, mate. It's it's a Thunderhawk. These they they attack ships and stuff. They they get shot by weapons batteries that ships have and survive in the fluff. And it comes in in a game at the moment, and a single last cannon squad turns around and blows it out of the sky. Yeah, fair enough. Like it's, it's it's also five hundred points. It's more points than a Primarch. Well, it should have the super heavy thing. That's what it should have. Yeah, yeah, it needs that so as it well. Be 30, Thirteen super heavy. Well, here's so you one. can still get still get penetrated, but you're not blown. Like can't be blown up in the sky. Yeah, that, well, that should be a thing. Well, here's one. Pete will kill me if I don't mention it. It's because it's not got super heavy. It's only got lumbering. It's got four. Twin linked heavy bolters and six Hellstrike missiles. It can only fire four weapons and snap fire the rest. Yeah, see that's dumb as well. Yeah, and same as a normal Thunderhawk, it just doesn't really go together. Like I, I and I love the transporter. I've got. You can't get them anymore, but there's obviously three D print files floating around out there, and I would love to have a. I'd love to have a real transporter. I've been after one for years, but I'm just coming because they're so precious now. No one is selling yeah. them. Uh, Steve used one in your game versus him on the channel. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah, but, they're absolutely beautiful. But they've just, they're just, they've never got them right. They've never got them right. No, not in heresy. I, I, cause I have no experience no. of them in forty k. No, but in heresy, they've never from, been right. Yeah, from heresy, they, they've never got them right. Yeah. So on to Marauder Bomber. It's a flyer. It's four hundred and fifty points. It's only it's only five hull points now, and it's got the same armor as a thunderbolt. Burn it's it a, as well. Yeah. I hate these. I hate these. And I'll tell you why I hate these because actually one of my first ever games with like getting back into heresy when I was relearning the rules, I played someone. Um, and they might even watch the channel, so they will know exactly who it is. And uh, they took a. Yeah, anyway. That's going to pick up on your audio massively. So. Oh, I will just power through. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, burn these. Because I played someone uh, like when I first started playing Heresy again and they took a Marauder Bomber, right? And I fucking hated it. <laughs> what? Because I, was so, cause I was so new to Heresy, right? I didn't really even know the rules properly at this point. And I don't think I had anything that could even shoot at it. Yeah. I don't even know if the rules were played properly because I'd never heard of it at the time. And it just dropped massive bombs on everything I fucking had. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, just get fucked. <laughs> so I so. I actually love the Marauder Bomber model. Like Dave Dave yeah, no, Smith cool. I know has one or two. And it's I, I love the Marauder Bomber, but I, I it just needs to be better. Yeah. Uh the Marauder Destroyer, exactly the same. Needs to be better. It has the same yeah. problems. Bane, right, right. This we can do these as a group. A I was gonna, I was gonna absolutely group these together. So, I bought one of these bastards. <laughs> right, <laughs> let's give them the names. It. It's a Bane Blade, Bane Hammer, Storm Lord, Sh- Shadow Sword, Storm Sword, and yeah, let's do them as a group. Go on, Connor. Yeah. So, I bought one of these in the for the last version. Yeah. Um, and don't get me wrong, I think it was the Shadow Sword or the Storm Sword. It's one of them. It was mental. It was mad. It was like large blast, ignores Storm cover, Hammer. strength 10, AP 1. It might have even been strength 
D. Oh, it was dumb yeah. good. Storm like, Sword. So it's this. Yeah. yeah, Storm Sword. It was dumb good. However, the cool thing about it is you could flick and change it. So uh, with the way the model is, you can you can interchange. So I used to either run it as that, as a, as a super heavy, as my super heavy for it. And I think it was like, I don't know, 500, 600 points maybe. Mm. Um, and then... I'd also run it as the the one with like the the assault cannons that it had on the front of it. Yeah, the it storm like mod. Traded... Yes, Maybe. the storm mod for the the ones with the assault the the Vulcan Mega Bolter is the storm yes. mod. Okay, so the storm lord. So I'd also run it as a storm lord. But the difference with the storm lord was is that it had like a troop capacity of like thirty or something. So it was like a like a on a tank Thunderhawk type thing. Um, but it also had a weapons platform, so you could put a weapon, a squad in it, and they could shoot, and it didn't class as having moved the squad yeah. in it, so you could put a heavy support squad in it and just fire out of it. Now, I appreciate that. People are probably going, oh, it's really wacky. Yeah, but it was mental cool, right, because it took up so many points in the list anyway, right? When it went up, it went up mad, but it was just, it was just awesome. I loved it. <laughs> I, I absolutely loved it. And they've ruined every single part of this in every single one of these versions because it's now almost like a thousand points for every single so one. Storm Sword is eight fifty. Yeah, eight fifty for those. Seven fifty for the other versions, isn't it? And, yeah. they, and there's one uh, Storm Sword and the Storm Shadow. Shadow or Sword. The Shadow Sword. Sorry. Yeah. Both eight fifty points, and and the weapons are just trash. For it. I mean, yeah, comparatively the to the cannon. point, yeah. Like, yeah, if... Hell, Hellhammer cannon, 24 inches. Yeah, okay, straight for 12, cool. AP3, yeah, fine, I get that. But then, like, the, the rending of a five up, I get I get it's brutal and stuff, it's 24 inches now. And and it's just, it's meant to be a super heavy. Like, they're meant to be horrible. And I don't, I get that, yeah. that maybe they were, they were, there's too much. But let's be honest, in the last version of Heresy, we all got to a point where you you could deal with you, them you deal with them yeah you you had something to deal with a super heavy yeah same as we're going to get with this um i get that the glaive from that sort of super heavy side of things was a bit different because it literally just fired through everything but yeah. these didn't I, and i know that they still ignored cover mm. but they didn't just shoot through things like you had to see your target and whatever else things. So I never thought they were th that bad. Like they were cool and they were like a bit nasty. So it's, it's meant to be nasty. I think, I think the ignore <laughs> glaive Typhon and the storm, the storm sword were protect, were too good, but yeah. I don't think they deserved the nerf that they got. No, like they they weren't agree. that bad. I, Glaive was the the worst one of the lot. The worst one. But yeah. we knew they were specific ones. No one was complaining about a shadow sword. No one was complaining no. about a bane blade. No one no. was complaining about a, a, fe a fell blade. But all of these this stuff got nerfed into the ground. Yeah. Like when and was I the don't... last time you saw a super heavy at an uh, event? Never. And and don't get me wrong, right? There's an element to this that I love, right? Because the cool thing I like about two point oh is that it's a lot of troops. And that yeah. is what we've always wanted from a heresy thing, is lots of marines, lots of lots of troops on that side of things. But they've pushed it so much that you're just not seeing the other things that we all went out and bought, or a lot of us went out and bought, or other people had. So you're just not seeing them at, at, at events or anything like that. And that, I think, is sad to see. <laughs> well, it's, it's almost like they took the call that we want troops to be better to mean we only want troops yeah and it's yeah. like it's like no 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 it's like the monkey paw thing where it's yeah. like uh, like your, your wish <laughs> is granted let me grant your yeah, yeah. wishes three yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks yeah. a crap it's, it's exactly that it's exactly that so <laughs> Yeah, just to band them all together, uh, you know, I know some people maybe want to know more about them individually, but ultimately it's the same as previous. The The weapons are just not good enough. You know, I think they've all got a drop in armour as well yeah. to some extent, and the points have just skyrocketed. So let's go on and let's get to the Macarius. 
I'm not doing this again, Connor. It's too many points for not good enough. It's yeah. I I've got two Macariuses sat behind me. Like actually, there, yeah, there. Um, it, it, they're just un, unusably bad. Six hundred points. Uh, let's go on. Crassus yeah. armor. We need to start grouping these together even more. The Crassus armor transport doesn't have assault transport. It's four hundred points. It's, yeah, it's a brilliant, good. brilliant model. There was an amazing one at Warhammer Fest that had been painted. That it was just honestly incredible. I love the model, but it's not good enough. Monkey paw takes again. Yeah, um, yeah. Praetor yeah, assault yeah. launcher, same. And then that, and that's the end of the generics. It's yeah, it's it's, it's a shame that we have to end it on a low note. But that's always going to be the case because Lords of War come last. Maybe let's start Lords of War in. Let's do Lords of War after troops next time. Yes, Ugh. I think. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's gonna. It's gonna sound like we've just sat there and moaned, but it's not really that. It, it's. It's just. Um, it's the legacies, Doc. I suppose. Yeah. It's. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's so it's up a and shame. down. It's. It, it's just not. Because um... we love this game. We look. We met because yeah. of this game. Like it's yeah, yeah, like yeah, a lot of yeah. people like, like in it, the it, hobby. It, yeah, exactly. I think what it, what it is is they're good. They, I'm glad they've all got got roles. First of all, I'm glad they've all been given roles. Um, I just don't think they're very well thought out. Some of them are quite nice, look interesting, mm. but it is a select few. Um, yeah, and, I think uh, how I'd recommend people to take stuff like this is let your opponent know in advance. Like, yeah. hopefully, they understand that that is a handicap. And agree an either an alternate points level that you're gonna use these. Take at. one each. Or, yeah, take, take one. one each. Take one each. You like say I I'm gonna use this. Can we have its points level? Because that's probably that's probably right, it, and yeah. that's probably a bit high. Like is for, for how good last cannon squads are now. It's something like that because they are they are really nice models. I actually, I I want to buy. Uh, a fell blade, Connor. I want to buy a fell blade, but yeah, it's the only way nowadays. So well, shall... I want you to, I want you to make me an Aegis Dios. <sighs> buy the, buy the Thunderhawk, and I'll do it. Yeah. Buy the Thunderhawk, yeah. and I'll do it. It's, so it's now on YouTube. <laughs> the world has heard. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, let's close it out there, and we'll do Legion specific in another video. So yeah. if you enjoyed the video, especially that ending, don't forget to hit like, comment below what you like, what you didn't like, whether we were wrong about any particular bit. Like most of it. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. Um, and don't forget to hit subscribe where you can get all the new videos that you must really love, like the ending of this one. Uh, God, this isn't a good one to sell the channel afterwards. And there's a Patreon <laughs> link below where you can get yourself a bouncy tray some dice, as well as access to the Discord. And we'll catch you next time in a bit. Ciao.